Baraka mungu baba niza Baraka za mungu baba niza Zaweza kwenda juu Zaweza kwenda chini Zaweza kwenda mbele Zaweza kwenda nyuma Upande upande kwa matai Sai sai Good morning, good morning once again children, parents and guardians. Welcome to today's service wherever you are that you are tuning from. You are welcome and before we start, we have a word of prayer. <coughs> Father, we thank you for yet another day that you have given us to gather before you and to praise your name and to worship you and to hear from you. Lord, we pray that you guide us till the end. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Wow. Welcome, children, to our service this morning. We are glad to have you join us. And we look forward to seeing you later on in the physical service. But for now, it's time to praise. Praise. And, children, mm -hmm. when it's time to praise, yes. what do we do? We, we stand, stand up, up and we Danish, take it away. So, today we want to learn a song. I think we know it. Mm. So it goes, Yesu ali kufam salabani Sababu ya dhambize tu zote Iyo, iyo kalvari Iyo kalvari Iyo. We sing together. We go. Yesu ali kufam salabani Sababu Sababu ya dhambize tu zote Iyo, iyo kalvari Iyo, iyo kalvari Let's go band. Yesu ali Oh, yeah. 
pressure. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. We thank God. Yes. I've decided to follow Jesus. Jesus died on the cross for us. And then when we choose Jesus, we don't ever turn back because we value what he did on the cross for us. Thank you so much for such wonderful praises. So today we want to get into the lesson of the day. Today we'll be learning about the fall. So we continue with the story of creation. And our reader for today, let me remind myself who is reading for us. Her name is Nai. Nailante. Welcome, hey. Nailante. Well, that's a name. Yeah. My name is Nailante Major. Our reading today is taken from Genesis chapter 3, beginning to read from verse 1 to 7. Now the snake was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God made, had made. He said to the woman, Did you really God did really say you must not eat from the from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the snake, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but not but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden and you must not touch it or you will die you will not sanctuary die the snake said to the woman from for god knows that when you eat from it your eyes will be open and you will be like God knowing good and evil. When the woman saw the fruit of the tree was good for food and pleasing to the eye and also desirable that for gaining wisdom she took and ate it. She also gave to the, to some to her husband who was her, with her and ate it. Then the, the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized that, that they were naked. So they said big leaves together and made coverings for themselves. 
This is the word of the Lord. And we all say, thanks, thanks be, be to God. God. Wow, you've done so well, Nailante. Let's give her a Kalamanda. Kalamanda! It's actually the first time we're having Laila Tay. We are so proud of you. Keep up the good work. So we continue with the story of creation, and today we are looking at the fall of man. If you remember last week, we said God created Adam and Eve in his image. There's something I didn't mention to you, and that is the fact that when God looked at what he had created, it was not just good, but it was perfect. Mm. What that means, children, is Adam and Eve did not have any sin at all. And in today's story, it's a bit sad because the enemy of God saw that these two people were looking good, they were having a good relationship with God, and he decided to spoil that relationship. Too bad. Can you imagine? Too bad. And he came around... And of course, because he's not happy with what God is doing, he decided to spoil for God and he put or planted some doubt in their mind. So let me tell you what happened. So one day, Adam and Eve are having their nice time, enjoying one another's conversation, talking to each other, probably telling stories of how they saw the monkey running all over and mm. jumping up and down. And Satan comes to the Garden of Eden. And he's very clever. He decides to talk to the woman instead of the man. I always wonder, what was Adam doing when Satan was talking to Eve? Because you see, man is supposed to be the protector. Yes. He's the husband of Eve. He's supposed to protect her so that when the enemy comes, he will not catch her. Well, it happened. And they started having a talk. And so Satan is asking Eve, Eve, hi. And he, she responds and says, hi. Did God really say that you must not eat of any tree in this garden? And then Eve says, no. He didn't say we can't eat any tree. He just said we are not supposed to eat the tree from the tree in the middle because if we do, we will die. And then Satan says, ha, 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 ha. You think you will die? That's not true. Can I tell you what's going to happen? the real truth. Mm -hmm. When you eat from that tree in the middle, your eyes will be opened and you will know everything. Mm. And you know Eve actually started having doubt. And you, are we going to die? And he's, she's thinking to herself and this Satan is actually really just telling her, you try, try and see, you try. And guess what? That's how sin entered because hey. Eve decided to give it a trial. Tama. Imagine. Tama. I am so sad. I wish just somehow <sighs> she just said, I let me first check with God. She did not mm -hmm. check with God to just be sure what did you say about this tree. She just went ahead, took, took a bite of that fruit, and then she's like, hmm, that tastes good. Mm. And you know when something is good, you call your friend, eh? Well, she only had one friend in the garden. And I, I also assume now that she tested, she also confirmed that she didn't die. Yeah, <laughs> she also confirmed that she didn't quite die. She's the like, devil mm, is a liar. Can you imagine the I devil is such a liar? So she calls Adam, Adam, come and see. And so Adam walks along and is like, when what has happened? Uh, you, you remember that tree we were told not to eat from? And then God said you will die. Imagine I've eaten, I'm not dead. I'm not dead. And it's I so tasty. Do you want to try and guess what? Adam didn't say no. I wish he had said no. I just wish he had said no. He just said, oh yeah? By the way, you're not dead. Uh -huh. And it is nice. Even me, I want to try. So Adam tried. <laughs> and guess what happens? As soon as they ate that fruit, the Bible says, they actually, it's like their eyes were opened. And this time around, they noticed they were naked. Something they had not seen. And let me tell you, children, 
quickly they went for tree leaves. They covered themselves and then they started hiding. You know, before that, they were talking with God freely mm. and they were not hiding. They were not afraid. Let me tell you, they began to be very ashamed. And that's why they were covering their naked bodies and hiding from God. And God appears in the garden and he's just walking, looking for Adam and Eve. And he's like, Adam, hello, Adam. And then Adam finally answers. I can just imagine how afraid he was. He was trembling. Yes, yes, Lord. He's like, where are you? Well, we, we are hiding. Why are you hiding? I can just imagine that conversation, how it went. Well, because, because we are naked. And who told you you are naked? Did you eat from that tree that I told you not to eat? Well, you see, it's this woman you put here. She's the one who made me eat that. And I really regret. No, I... And then God was like, hmm. since you disobeyed what I told you, I'm going to tell you some things that are going to change. We are going to change some things around here. The rules are changing. Yeah, the rules started to change. And you can imagine Adam and Eve, they are there, they are afraid, they are wondering, oh my God, we are in trouble, what's going to happen? And then God says, you know, from today onwards, I want you out of here. Get out of here. So the first and foremost, they were banished from the Garden of Eden. Secondly, serpent was told, or Satan was told, because it was a snake, you will be crawling, and you will have enmity between the seed of the woman, and you will, the, the seed of the woman will crush your head. Then the woman was told, you will desire the man, and you will always give birth in pain. And then the man was told, you are going to be looking for food and taking care of your family with a lot of sweat. You know, because God had blessed them and blessed the trees and the animals and they were supposed to enjoy, now it was not going to be that easy. They are going to have to till the land and sweat and that's what Adam was supposed to do. And then immediately they were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. So before that, they had an easy life. They could enjoy anything and everything that was there. And now, moving forward, it was not going to be that easy. All because they listened to Satan's lies. Do you know that's why the Bible calls Satan the father of all, all lies. lies? That when he speaks, he speaks his native... When he lies, he speaks his native language. Hmm. Very, sad Very sad how Satan deceived Adam and Eve... And unfortunately, that's how sin entered the world. Before they had sinned, they were both without sin. And they were perfect. But once they sinned, now everybody is born in sin. That's what the Bible tells us. So sin entered in the world, and now we all are sinners. And let me tell you, God is still caring and loving because, you know, he made a way for us. That song we sang, Yesu walikufa msalabani, sababu ya dhambi zetu. That's the way Jesus uh, came to save us and take away the sin. Because you see, sin separated us from God. But when Jesus came and died on the cross, that relationship with God was brought back. So you have a choice, child. You can make your relationship with God good again. When you sin, all you need to do is Ask Jesus to forgive you, and then you are friends with God once more. Yes. Yeah. And that's the end of our story for today. Wow. And I don't know if we're picking any lessons today. Today is a sad story. It's a very sad story. It's a very sad story. Mm -hmm. And I, I happen to have picked a lesson. Mm -hmm. And my lesson, children, is that sin broke the relationship between man and God. Yeah. Yeah, and... The sin of disobedience, they actually disobeyed what God told them. And before that, God used to come and visit them and make stories with them. But after they sinned, the, the relationship between that good relationship that they had with God was broken. And now uh, they were even chased out of the garden where God had placed them so that they can take care. But now... Because the relationship was broken, they had to 
they had to be taken out of the garden. Mm. And that is what happens to us every time we do bad things, mm. bad things that are sinful to God. Mm. He actually moves far away from us. Mm. Yeah, when, when we don't sin, we are closer to God. But when we begin doing bad things, bad things like stealing, mm. disobeying parents, mm. those small, small things, they actually make God far away. Mm. And when God is far away from us, it is, it is hard for him to listen to, to our prayers. Mm. So we should avoid those bad, bad things so mm. that God is closer to us, so that when we speak, he listens to us easily. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is my lesson for today. Wow, beautiful wow. lesson. Thank you so much for that lesson. You know, actually, children, even when you sin against your parent, like when you disobey them, a lot of times you want to hide from them because you know you are in real trouble. Mm -hmm. So sin is not a very good thing. But may God help us to overcome sin. Any other lesson we are, we are learning? Mm. Teacher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've learned something. Mm -hmm. Um... Because of the sins of Adam and Eve, we have also become sinners. Yeah. We have also become sinners just because of their sin. And time and again, we uh, battle and battle and try to uh, do away with the sin. But mm. in our own, we cannot, we cannot mm. do away with that sin. Mm. So um, as we have said, sin includes even pinching your friend. Mm. Yeah. You going to the kitchen when your mom is not there and mm -hmm. licking sugar. Mm -hmm. It's also it's also sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Even and telling lies. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, when you ask, have you have you licked sugar? You say no, but <laughs> you know you have licked. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, yeah. So that that is also sin. But um, the good news is that God still loved us mm -hmm. and he still loves us mm -hmm. even to this moment, mm -hmm. yeah. and He has provided a way mm -hmm. that uh, those who believe. His son Jesus, who mm. came to die for us, mm. that uh, they shall not perish, mm. but they shall have eternal life. Wow. Amen. Wow. Wow. wow, beautiful lesson. Actually, I want to tie those and make them three lessons. Number one is that when we sin, we separate ourselves from God because of our sin. Number two, when uh, sin uh, entered the world through Adam and Eve, all of us became sinners, and that's why we are born in sin. And number three, we can't take care of that sin on our own. And that's why God provided a way out for us by sending his only begotten son to die on the cross so that our sins may be taken away. And you must agree that Jesus made a sacrifice for you by dying on the cross. And how do you do that? You ask God to forgive you through the Lord Jesus Christ. So children, we have a problem in this world called sin. sin. And every day we are struggling with this sin. But we also have a solution through the Lord Jesus Christ. So today, if you have never asked Jesus into your heart, you can ask Jesus into your heart to be your friend, to be your savior. And when you do that, you become friends with God again. And I want to help you pray that prayer so that you will not be banished like Adam and Eve from the presence of God. But before we pray. Teacher Lea. Yes, please. Um, I am learning something. Yes, please. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking at the way the devil, okay, the serpent, approached Eve. Mm -hmm. It was in a very friendly way. Mm -hmm in a way that Eve could not be scared of the devil. Mm -hmm. And in, 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 in with things that could not scare Eve. Mm. Did he really say you'll die? And then, whether well, you'll not die. Actually, there's something good you'll get. Mm. And I think mm -hmm. that is actually how the devil works even Imagine, right now. Imagine, that's how he lies to us. Eh? For example, you're praying for something, and then it takes long. Mm -hmm. And then he asked you, do you really have to wait? You he see? puts doubt in your yes. mind. Mm. For example, the Bible says for the, wish, the wages of sin is death. death and, and then he asks you, will you really die? Mm. And so, actually the doubt he puts in our minds mm. is the one that makes us to sin. That's true. 
So we need to be awake mm. to know when the devil is lying to us. Yeah. Because sometimes he can even use God's own words mm. and twist them mm. to become lies. Yeah. Like the way he took the God's word of did he say you will not sin mm. and then he twists it. Mm. So we need to be careful. Wow. The devil is is very smart. Mm. Yes. Yeah, we we shouldn't think the devil is weak and foolish. He really knows how to catch us. Yes. So that you get angry with your mommy and you shout back. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Or you disobey or you do a, the other thing. He puts a thing in your mind and makes you very angry. He puts something in your mind and makes you doubt what your mommy said or your daddy said. Mm. So you should be very careful. The tricks of the enemy. Thank you so much, Teacher Denish, for such a wonderful lesson. It's time to listen to a memory verse. And let's see who is uh, saying a memory verse this uh, morning. Hey, we have a, a girl called Kala. Welcome, Kala. Wow. My name is Kala Wangwei Hasheso, and I'm 12 years old. And today I'll be telling you the memory verse. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. It says, For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. Thank you. Wow, well done, Kala. Let's give Kala a Kalamanda. Yes. Kalamanda. Kalamanda. Kala. Kalamanda. Kalamanda. Kala. Well done, Kala. You're coming up well. Aha, it's, it rhymes with your name, Kala. Well done. So, children, I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to give your offertory. And you can do so by giving through pay bill number 30, 30, 36. And the account is Sunday school. So tell your mommy to help you give your offertory. I want to take this time also to pray. Thank God for the offertory but also pray for you. If you would like Jesus to be your friend so that you don't have to be separated from God and you can be friends with God, then I'll pray this prayer. And what I want you to do, children, is when I pray a sentence, you repeat after me. Okay? So let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for me. Thank, Thank you for, for dying on the cross for, for me. I welcome you into my heart. I welcome you into, into my heart. To be my Lord and my Savior. To be my Lord and Savior. And to be my friend. And to be my friend. Help me not to continue sinning. Help me not to continue sinning. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sins. And help me to be friends with God again. And help me to be friends with God again. I pray in Jesus. I pray, I pray in, in Jesus, Jesus' name. Amen. If you Amen. pray that prayer, then you know you are a child of God. Yes. And you need to tell your mommy you have prayed a prayer, and now you are a child of God, you are a friend of God, and you are no longer separated from God. And now I want us to pray as we give thanks for the offertory and thank God for this service. Lord, we thank you for the offertory that has been given We pray that you may bless it, that it may be used for the extension of your kingdom. I pray for the children who have allowed Jesus into their heart. I pray that you help them to find an adult in their life who can help them to grow in you. I also pray, Father, for anyone who is struggling because of sins, that you may help them to overcome the sins so that they don't have to continue to be separated from you, our God. I pray that you may watch over the children the whole of this week, protect them, And Lord, I pray that you help them to be obedient to their elders, their teachers, their parents, and to do well in school and at home. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless you. Goodbye. Have a good week. Yeah.